Good morning, Kenya. Good morning, all of you watching us this morning. My name is Samuel Njeroge. It's such a pleasure to have you on this show this very day, the 28th of September 2017. This month is just uh, coming to an end. It's the final edition of Entertainment Thursday this month. So it's only fair. Ah, we make it fair for you now. Uh, we give you pleasure, pleasure, all the time, all the day. Welcome to this very show. The hashtag is Good Morning Kenya on Twitter, and you can also find us on SMS 22162. Begin with the initials GMK. Let us know what you think about this show. Let us know what you think about the amazing interview that I'm just about to begin in a short while, as well as all other content that we shall be bringing your way this day. Hey, it's a blessed morning. Because as we told you, eh, on our social media platform, we've got an actress who has Kenyan origin, but making it well, well big in Nigeria. Eh. Film for Nollywood movie and content. Talking about Mother Wajero. Welcome to the program. Thank you How are you doing? Much. I'm good. What about you? I'm doing awesome. Yes. Awesome. Love the yellow. Thank you so Love much. Love the yellow. <laughs> and... <laughs> Maybe you can start by telling us a bit about Martha. Who are you? Okay, Martha is an actress, model, mm -hmm. vlogger, and not forgetting a student. Mm -hmm. Yes. A student where? I'm um, a student at Daystar University. Right. Yes. Doing mass communication, mass electronic communication. media. Uh, welcome to the field. Thank you. Welcome to <laughs> the field. I'm joining you soon. <laughs> <laughs> karibu, karibu Thank sana. Thank you. <laughs> so when I went through your story or what's available online, yeah, your story very inspirational and you're going places. Clearly you are. Thank uh, you. But then again, <laughs> tell us how your, 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 y you began your acting career. Okay, I began my acting career um, in 2015 when I was doing set books. I did set books in Pam Bazooka Ads. When I left high school, I was really motivated to act. So I decided why not join uh, set books uh, before I joined Daystar. Mm -hmm. And that's how I joined into acting. Mm -hmm. yes. Was it tough? Yes, very tough. <laughs> 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 Nothing yeah. comes easy after all. Yep. I, went through, I went through many auditions. And even before going to Nigeria, I've done so many auditions. I have talked to so many producers, but by the God's grace, I got it. You got it, and here we are this yeah, day. Yeah, here I am. And uh, uh, you began with theater. Yes, I began with You theater. began with theater. How yes. did that exactly shape your career, your acting career? Okay, theater is much harder than the screens because this is more of, it's more of you have to convince people more than the TV. And theater for me was, it gave me experience and it shaped me so that when I reached to TV, it was much easier. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, you did theater for how long? For three months only. 90 days. <laughs> yes. Then you went to, <laughs> to screen. Yes, Hollywood. Nollywood. Mm. <laughs> I want to be in theater for <laughs> 90 days, then cross over <laughs> to Nollywood. Someone may think that's too short a time. But then big breaks are big, are big breaks and they happen when they happen. Yeah. So what opportunity mm -hmm. dawned on you so that you were able to embrace Nollywood? Okay, I'm a very uh, outgoing person mm -hmm. and I'm a, a forceful person, let me say, yeah. because I get what I want. Normally, that's what I tell myself. Mm -hmm. So I said that I want to be on the screens and that's what I get. I'm really motivated and I don't give up. That's one thing about me. So I told myself that if I can want to be on the screen, let me go and get it. So I applied, I struggled, and I managed. Mm -hmm. That's applied, how I got struggled. struggled and, and, you man <laughs> and you managed. Yes. Let's talk about the struggle. How was it for you, Martha? Um, since 2015, I wanted to get into the Kenyan series, but it wasn't possible. I tried my best, and... It wasn't, I wasn't getting into the series, I, always being told, I was always being told that there are auditions, but there were never auditions. So I told myself, uh, if not in Kenya, why can't I try out of, of why can't I try out of Kenya? Mm -hmm. Then I thought of Nollywood, I was like, uh, people were asking me, why would you pick, why would you be picked? There are so many actresses in Nigeria, why you? Why you? But I was like, it can be me, and I applied, and successfully they replied to me and they called me over 
That's Come why. On. No, no. <laughs> That's the power of conviction. Yes. The power of conviction and drive. But then, was there any kind of uh, any kind of hiccup between here and moving to Nigeria? Yes. Um, at first, uh, it, the good thing it just happened when I was finishing my January semester. That was the May June. So the block semester. It happened in May, so I traveled in June. But at first, my parents were a bit reluctant. You know, as parents, they'll always mm -hmm. want to find out more about where you're going. But luckily, my mom supported me, uh -huh. also my dad. My mom actually traveled with me. She was, me. she was with me throughout the whole stay. She mm -hmm. supported me. They all support me throughout my career. And when you look at Africa, and uh, we talk about acting and screen, Yes. There are three spots that will come to your mind. Mm -hmm. There's Nigeria, there's Kenya, mm -hmm. and there's South Africa. South Africa yes. Why choose Nigeria? Why not South Africa for you? I chose Nigeria because actually I've been in Nigeria. I stayed in Nigeria for seven years. And I got inspiration from Nigeria. So I was like, I must go back there and act with them. Let's talk about your stay seven <laughs> years in Nigeria. <laughs> what took you there? Uh, my dad is an international uh, worker, so mm. he was working in Nigeria, so that's how I, was, I stayed in Nigeria. And how is Nigeria? I'm told the population is crazy. Yes, there are so many, <laughs> like, <laughs> there are millions. Yeah, there are many. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice place. They, they are, I love their talent. They have diverse talent, and they really embrace and motivate talent. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I love about them. Land of Fufu and Koko Yam. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, so the, your seven years stay in Nigeria, was that during when Martha was young, a yes, teenager? Yes, childhood. I went there. I actually grew up in Nigeria. I was born and raised in Kenya, mm -hmm. but then I now went to Nigeria. Okay. So now back to your acting career and you're there mm -hmm. in Nigeria. What did you find to be different? if you were to compare Nigeria and Kenya as far as the acting scene is concerned? The speed of the acting. Imagine I was shooting one movie in one week, so their speed is really fast. Seven Com days you were through. Seven days and I'm through. That's the long, that was my kids and I. Uh -huh. We shot it in seven days. The Fighting Temptation book one, we're shooting it in three days. That is how fast how Nigerians are. How are you able are. to achieve that? <laughs> They're just outgoing people. Like they get, they really. Uh, I think they're just vigorous people who uh -huh. they they produce so many movies in one week. Apart from just the production house I was in, all the other production houses they release so many movies mm. in just one week. Distribution of content mm -hmm. in Nigeria, because when you talk to a majority of Kenyan producers, they'll yeah. tell you, okay, fine, we we'll, we have the content, yeah. but where will it be aired? aired. You know, that, that's always the, 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 the elephant in the room. Is that the similar, a similar, is there a similar situation in Nigeria? No, Nigerians, these, uh, Nigerians love themselves. Even if you go to their markets or their, their homes, you find them watching their own movies. I think they embrace their own talent. And like I went to the shop where they sell movies, I entered and I was like, oh my gosh, like you find so many movies you don't even know which one to pick, like to and choose. All they are all Nigerian. And you're like, you go there and you like, they ask you which movie do you want. You're just mesmerized. So many pictures filled of different types of movies. And I think they love what they do and they support what they do. So that's one thing that sells them also. African magic and they buy their own movies. Now then they print their own movies, not like as in, in Kenya, we don't have printed movies. They print their own movies and people buy them. They're doing really good. And they're doing really good. Yes. Lessons there we can learn from uh, our Nigerian <laughs> counterparts. Y did you find anything Kenyan? I mean, even at least music or something Kenyan in Nigeria? Yeah, they like, um, like the uh, people I was working with, they like, um, the, they like Saudi soul. They were asking me one of their, mu their music. Uh -huh. Yeah, they love Kenyan music. That's awesome. Yeah. So your very first uh, movie, was yeah. it Temptation Book One? Yeah, Fighting Temptation Book One. Fighting Temptation Book One. Let's talk about the audition process. How mm -hmm. did you land the role of Lucy, Lucy. the main character? Yes. Yes. So at first I started with a small short cl 
short clip of bumping into each other. Like we're walking with a lady and she bumped into me. Then I was like, sorry, sorry. So the director was like, now that you've done this short, uh, small role, why, not I, why shouldn't I build you up with the main character? So he gave me the script and I read through it and he was like, okay, bring out that character. And I pulled it off and he was like, okay, let's shoot it tomorrow. So that's how I got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, was it difficult for you? Was it a challenge? Let me not lie. Yes, it was a challenge because the director was like, Martha, I need tears. So I was like, cry. <laughs> like literally you're told right now, cry. Uh -huh. And not like real tears. I literally had to bring them out. At first, it was hard. He was like, go out there, bring tears and come back. I'm like, oh, it was so hard to cry. <laughs> How? Uh. <laughs> and the fact that it was a main role. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm wondering, but let me just shoot it straight to you, Martha. Yeah. When you're told, I need tears, mm -hmm. real tears, real time, at that point. Yes. Did it make you think of something that brought the tears? What exactly inspired you to cry? when you really don't need to be crying naturally. You know, at first it was like real tears. You know, at first I was like, okay, tears will just come out. But when I got to set and the camera was rolling, tears didn't come out. So he was like, go out there and get into the mood. You put yourself in the mood of that character. Mm -hmm. Lucy is an orphan who has lost her parents and she is being mistreated. So I'm putting myself in that character. Mm -hmm. I get into that mood and the tears will come. They'll just come, and as, a, as, an, as an actress, you're supposed to know how to bring out these emotions. Because right. this scene, I'm crying. The next scene, I'm laughing. The next scene, I'm a, I'm a bit of a, a bad or a mean girl. Yeah, so you just, you just need to know how to fix yourself in that particular character. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is said that research mm -hmm. in acting is very valuable. And getting to understand what your character entails. Yeah and researching more about that particular character. Mm -hmm. How exactly do you prepare to go on set and get into character? Let's talk about the level of research you invest mm -hmm. in. What you do, you watch other actresses. I do watch other movies. I learn from other actresses. Let's say Marcy Johnson. Marcy Johnson is a really good actress. She knows how to change emotions. She, she, when you watch her, you'll feel, you'll feel the movie. Mm -hmm. She knows how to play. Like uh, the director was telling me, Marcy Johnson can actually cry from one eye. <laughs> so he was telling me, you should learn how to do that. As an actress, you should be told cry from this eye and the tear comes out from this eye. So for me, I do research, I watch movies, and I prepare myself well. If I'm given the script, I think of this character, and I figure out how will I bring out this character so that the viewer is, is able to be inspired. Like Lucy, if you watch the comments on YouTube, people were touched by that movie. Yes, very yes, much. Yes, because of how I cried, how I brought out those emotions. Mm -hmm. And yes. how you were able to, you know, balance it all. Yes. Uh, the, the conflict between Do losing your parents, parents and getting into a home, mm -hmm. uh, running into this pervert that who is a man, man and he yes. keeps running <laughs> after you. <laughs> you watch the whole movie. I, I know more. <laughs> <laughs> I know so much about uh, Fighting Temptations, uh, book one. one. And, and now, you've done that. What was your second movie? Was it now Snap it was or My Kids and I? Now, it was Fighting Temptation, book two. Book I, two, I yes. played now a different uh, character, but still Lucy. Lucy, but more... More tough. tough. I was now, I became a tough girl. They no longer <laughs> snatch for you. you yes, I was them. now more fighting. Uh -huh. I had to fight that temptation now. Yep. Yes. And this, um, it was easier than the first one. Mm -hmm. I got, I fitted in easily. At least, you know, the first movie, being the first, being it being my first movie, you know, I was a bit uh, shaky. I was not used to uh, the my crew. Mm -hmm. But the second movie, I was more relaxed. I enjoyed it. I know I love acting, so now I enjoyed bringing out that particular character. Exactly, and it's really visible from that particular movie. <laughs> when you watch a fighting <laughs> temptation book, when no. you're like, Auntie, uh, nah. <laughs> It's no. a lie, <laughs> and then everything the else, meat. and then <laughs> book two. <laughs> eh, who's your man here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But again, that is Martha Ojero for you, and she is actually making it huge and large in Nigeria, having done uh, four movies, and this is just the beginning for her. We're going to get to interact with her more on this very show. 
So keep your comments and your questions coming in. The hashtag is Good Morning Kenya on Twitter, and 22162 is our SMS line. Begin with the initials GMK. How about we get to appreciate just a small preamble about who Mother Wajero is, and then we'll be back with this discussion. Keep it right here, the only way to start your day. Welcome to my YouTube channel, it's Martha254 and today I want you to get to know me better. I'm Martha Awinja Wajero, I'm a third year student at Leicester University, I'm studying mass communication. My age, mm, I was not age, sorry. I love dancing, socializing, having fun, I love having fun. This life is too um, I'm an actress, model, dancer. I started acting way back in high school. I did set books for after I left Form 4. And recently I've shot four Nollywood movies. The first movie I shot was Fighting Temptation Book 1. I played the lead role of Lucy. This movie, trust me, was so challenging. I had a hard time. I had literally had to cry. If you watch the movie, it's actually on YouTube. Those were real tears that I cried. And the director was like, Martha, I need real tears from you. I was so frustrated, but it helped me a lot because acting is all about change of emotions and not to portray every emotion that is needed from that particular script. Thereafter, I acted my second movie, Fighting Temptation 2. I still play the role of Lucy. And this one, at least I changed, it was a change of character. I was more of a tough girl. Than fighting temptation book one, I was more of sorrowful, crying. What is going on here? Hey, what are you doing with my man? Your man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so my third movie was Snap. I played the role of Talia, the ex. Uh, it was more of a crime movie, and this movie was not more i don't i would say challenging though because i had gotten used to it i had shot my previous two movies so it was more interesting i had a lot of fun and i also learned a lot from the two other shoots so i was more comfortable relaxed yeah but acting is in me so it just came out naturally my fourth movie was my kids and i i played the role of jenny jenny and yeah, from there, those are the four movies I've shot. And I see myself as a very big actress in the near future, both locally and internationally. And for modeling, I started modeling way back in high school. When I joined Daystar, I contested for Miss Daystar 2015, and I was first runner up. And I do commercials, uh, runway, and print advert shoots. Dancing, I love dancing. Even in my previous movie, My Kids and I, the last movie I shot, uh, chapter two, I was dancing. And if you watch many of my YouTube videos, I'll be dancing. I've learned a lot, a lot through my career journey. And I'm a very social person. I interact with people a lot. I'm very friendly. And I fit in anywhere easily. And I tend to trust people a lot and listen to people also a lot, which is at times it's not good. I'm not saying it's bad, but at in most cases it's not good because it tends to hurt you because of criticisms and people who are negative. So for this vlog I'll be informing, entertaining. Um, I'm very much into the entertainment industry in Kenya. So I'll be involving our celebrities and also the young. I support a lot the young talent so I'll be involving them much in my vlogs. And it's just going to be basically fun, entertainment. I'm self-motivated, I'm hardworking. I have a passion for acting, modeling, and dancing. And I urge you all, any of you who has a talent and want to pursue it, go for it. As long as you have the passion and you're able to believe in yourself that you can do it, yeah, then go for it. So, I believe the less can be more. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, 
like and see you next week bye, -bye. There you have it. We continue hanging out with Mother Wajero there. It's time for us to interact with your feedback. George asks you a question, Martha. He would like to know, Kwa nini Nigeria kuna kuanga na witchcraft? Oh, mingi evil, because in every movie, you never lack a scene on this. Is, is this a reality in Nigeria? No, you know, as in Africa, like we Africans, uh, Nigerians, ju Nigerians just shoot what is real. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft is real, you can't deny it. So Nigerians shoot reality. And in Africa, you'll find that the Americans or the soap operas don't show what really happens here in Africa. Mm -hmm. But Nigerians have decided to embrace and show us what happens in our African culture. Mm -hmm. no, African culture. And um, when you look at uh, your roles, th the three of them so far, yes, uh, Lucy, Talia, and Jenny, yes. of the three, which did you enjoy the most and why? Um, between the three, I enjoyed Snap and uh, the last movie, My Kids and I. Uh -huh. I. I love motivating young talent. I love the kids. I really enjoyed working with them. They're very talented. And for Snap, I, the crime movie was enjoyable, like especially the scene where he died mm -hmm. and we're trying to create uh, blood and stuff like that. I loved it. It was really interesting. But overall, all the movies, I loved, I loved them all. And it was a good experience. What gives you a niche in the Nigerian market, Martha? Me being a Kenyan, that uh -huh. is what makes me stand out. My accent and the fact that no one else can actually bring out this accent. Because mm -hmm. if you look at um, the YouTube comments, people are asking, where is this girl from? And her, we love her accent. So just my accent is what is bringing me up in the Nigerian industry. Exactly, because uh, you said that uh, as much as you were born in mm -hmm. Kenya, you spent seven years in Nigeria yes. and you were a young girl. Oh, yes. Someone may wonder, these are your formative years, Martha, but you escaped pigeon? Uh, I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. It was so strong. Like when I came to, people were like, are you Nigerian? I had it, but it went away. Mm -hmm. It was there. I couldn't escape it. With <laughs> Seven time. years. It went away with yeah, time. Yeah, it went away with time because I was also in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Actually, I finished my uh, mm -hmm. high school in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. You finished your high school in? Rwanda, in before Rwanda. coming back now to Kenya, yes. So you've had quite an experience across Africa. Yes, I had. Let's I talk have. about Rwanda. How was your stay there? Um, Rwanda is really a nice country. It's clean. I love the fact that Kenya has also taken its way of uh, removing uh, plastic paper bags because Rwanda is really a clean country. It conserves the environment very much. I love the stay there. I learned a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, my schoolmates there, the school, the schooling was good also. Mm -hmm. I finished in Green Hills Academy, IUCS. Yeah, that's awesome. You said that, uh, of course, in the course of your research, you're able to interact with material from uh, actresses like Marcy Johnson. Mm -hmm. yes. But generally, mm -hmm. who do you look up to? I look, to, I look up to Lupita Nyango, mm. yes, because I want to take uh, Kenya to a next level. I want to not only be in Hollywood, but also Hollywood. Mm -hmm. yes. So your destination forward uh, Yes, is Hollywood. Hollywood, yes. All the best <laughs> with that, all the best with that. And when you look locally, yes. the Kenyan scene, because as we were discussing earlier before the interview, you mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. you're eyeing the Kenyan market. Yes, actually, I was I shot in Vashita uh -huh. uh, in my Shamajik um, some two weeks ago. I played a small role. Mm -hmm. It's the Vashita, the same Vashita in Antibos. Uh, there's a new program called Vashita in my Shamajik. In my Shamajik, and, yes. And the experience? Very good, as in it was really nice. I enjoyed working with the crew, and I hopefully I'd like to join them to work with them. Mm -hmm. So yes. Mata is not only an actor, <laughs> she is a model too. Yes. And you're a dancer. Let's yes. begin with modeling. Yes, modeling began in high school. I also modeled in high school Green Hills. And when I joined Daystar, I contested for Mr. and Miss Daystar and I emerged as first runners up. Mm -hmm. 
Apart from that, I also do commercials like I featured in a Safaricom KCB advert. Yeah, I also do runways, I do photo shoots, print. Yeah, modeling was a career that I took up immediately I joined Daystar. Uh -huh. yes. And you do runway very well. <laughs> you do runway very, very well. Do I have the height? Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. I, I have bumped into you once. When? I won't say on air. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know after this. But again, uh, modeling and you are first runners up a day star for yeah. Mr. and Mr. Day star. Day. Yes. What were you able to do with this title? I, I, so I worked with uh, street children and for my church, my church supports um, uh, street families. I work with giving them food, serving them food. I also visited children's home and uh, shared something that I was able to give with them. Mm -hmm. yes. And you dance too. Yes. You <laughs> dance too. I'm tempted to tell the director to give us a bit <laughs> and then we can sample <laughs> what Martha has to offer in Actually, as as one of my YouTube videos. Concerned, yes. I danced, I did Let's Dance with the two kids that you've just seen, mm -hmm. the ones I am working with. Right. Yes, and also you've seen um, uh, my kids my and I, kids I and danced I. in one of the scenes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So um, why dancing? I'm, I'm all rounded. I You're want to all be rounded. all rounded. I want to like fit in anywhere. If the director tells me dance, I go for it. If he tells me model, I'm for it. Mm -hmm. Like now if like my kids and I, he was like dance and I didn't hesitate. Actually, I didn't even know there was a scene for dancing. Yeah, actually, it just came out naturally. Yeah, he just came out naturally. When you compare modeling, acting, and dancing, which one happens naturally for you and which one do you have to do a little bit of work to achieve? Acting comes out naturally because I'll say um, if it wasn't for it coming out naturally, I wouldn't have proceeded to do four movies mm -hmm. in Nollywood. But what I'd say, I'd have to practice his dancing. Mm -hmm. yes. Going back to Nigeria and um, looking at the actors they have. Yes. Uh, already you've mentioned Marcy Johnson. Yes. But who else would you like to work with in Nigeria? Uh, Genevieve Nanji. Genevieve. Uh, yes. Oh, Africa's uh, Julia. Yes. Yeah. I'm a Mama G. Mama G. Patience. <laughs> Patience. Why this two? <laughs> um... How they are acting. Their acting is really outstanding. And I think they'll teach me a lot if I'm to work with them. And uh, the exposure also. And also the uniqueness, just being with uh, um, Marcy Johnson or Patient Suzuko uh -huh. will be a really good platform for me. But then again, when I saw you, I had a feel of Tonto DK. Has anyone Tonto ever told, told you that? <laughs> Actually, I'm told by everyone. I look Nigerian. Everyone, even in school, I'm like, people are like, oh, you're Nigerian. That's yes. why you act in Nigeria. I'm like, no, I'm Kenyan. I'm fully Kenyan. And I love how that is coming out. Nigerian. <laughs> yeah. the, the pigeon is still there somewhere. <laughs> it's still there, the yeah. The pigeon is still there. But I noticed something about your acting. Mm hmm uh, with the three films that, that you've done. Yes. Especially the three that I've watched. Tem book one, one book, book two, two and, and my kids, kids and, and I. I. The accent, the Nigerian accent we would expect goes down and you kind of bring in a Kenyan flavor, yes. an East African flavor. Yeah. Actually, there are some scenes you literally deliver in Swahili. Really? Yeah. Is that deliberate for the actor or for the script writer or for the director? Okay, you know, the script was written uh, purposely for me. For you. And uh -huh. did you know it was revolving around me being Kenyan? So for the audience to actually convince them that I am Kenyan, Swahili words need to be, I need to uh, bring out Swahili words. Because uh, many people will be like, ah, no, you guys have just said she's Kenyan, but she's actually Nigerian. So just to make it look like I am really Kenyan, I have to deliver Swahili words. Mm -hmm. And that is also going to sell me in the Nigerian market. Yes. The fact that I'm unique. That, that unique thing that makes me stand out in Nollywood is the fact that I am Kenyan, mm -hmm. that and I can bring out Swahili that no one else can do. And when you come to Kenya, most of us relate with Nigerian actors. Yes. When you go to Nigeria, do they relate to and with Kenyan actors? Yes, they are very curious. Actually, they would like actually to come to Kenya and also do some... Uh, films here in here and there in Kenya and they were very I like them because Nigerians are very interactive they are very social and they are very friendly 
and they also like they they love to get to know other countries okay. better right let's talk of acting as a business bottom yeah. line <laughs> anyone who hears Martha is in Nigeria they will definitely associate that with money yeah uh, money. <laughs> she must be loaded with Naira <laughs> uh, d does it how is reward in Nigeria for actors reward is good that's why I'm in the industry of course <laughs> And reward goes by the character you play. If you're playing a main role, that is money, of course. If you're playing a lead role, if you're playing a minor role, depending on the type of role you're playing, that it goes with the amount of money that you'll receive. Mm -hmm. yes. Are you signed in into any label in Nigeria? No, as per now, I'm not signed into any label. Any particular reason I'm for that? I'm afraid Um As per now, I'm still working with school. So signing me will be uh, much of a hassle because uh, mixing school and acting will be a bit hectic. Yeah. Though if I'm here in Kenya, I can balance both, but Nigeria and Kenya will be a bit hectic. Do you ever consider moving into Nigeria and settling there and building your career from there? Sure, I can. After <laughs> I've graduated next year, I can think of doing that. I'd be saying that we are losing Martha in Kenya <laughs> in 2019. No, no, I'll be here and there. Uh -huh. Nollywood, Hollywood. Nollywood, Hollywood. Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> and, and a bit of, uh, uh, what's that? Riverwood. 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 Yes. yes, and a bit of Riverwood. Yes. Um, so moving forward for you, yeah. what would Martha want to achieve within the next five to ten years? For me, I just say I want to be the best actress. I want to compete with Lupita Nyong'o or even be better than Lupita Nyong'o. Mm -hmm. I want to be an inspiration to girls out here. I want people to look up to me and be like, I want to be like Martha Wajero. Mm -hmm. I just want to be someone that people will wish to be and people will follow my steps. Right, and you give back to society. Right. You yes. said that you do a lot of mentorship. Yes, I do. When, when you do this, talks or interactions and uh, you're mentoring young people, yeah. what message do you give them? What do you say to them? I just say that mostly I say don't try to be who you're not. Don't follow what um, other celebrities out here may portray. Not that they are bad, but just try to live yourself. Be who you are. Stay motivated. Hard work. Because without hard work, you can't go anywhere in this life. Mm -hmm and love what you do. That's what one thing you say. Don't be a musician because somebody is a musician. Don't be an actress because I am an actress mm -hmm. or a model. Just do what you love because if you, don't, if you do what you don't love, you won't go far with it. Mm -hmm. and, and one thing I say is that don't give up because if I had given up, I wouldn't be seated where I am today. Uh -huh. yes. you wouldn't. Let, let's get a little bit personal with <laughs> you, Martha. Um, what do you do? during your free time? <laughs> I hardly get free time nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, free time? Right now, I'm a third year. I'm so busy. Like, m last week, I was shooting my vlog. And the other week, I was at Vashita. Uh -huh. And I'm either doing schoolwork, I'm either shooting, or I either have uh, uh, modeling work to do. Uh -huh. So I hardly ever get free time. So what activity do you crave to catch up with as mm, soon as you get but a But I do breather? basketball. I play basketball in school just to keep fit, you know. As a model, as an actress, you need a good body. I have a hard time doing the exercise in the gym. Uh -huh. So I've taken basketball as an alternative. It's fun and I can still keep fit with it. I think a day with Martha will be fun. <laughs> yeah, you should. You should Girl, come and have a day. got it all going. <laughs> you act, you model, you <laughs> dance, and now you dribble the ball. <laughs> mm, awesome stuff. Awesome, awesome stuff. Yes. So once you get a breather, you'd like to go to the court, do a little bit of basketball. Basketball, yeah. Like I uh, stay in uh, at the river. They stay at the river. So at basketball is from five to seven. If I don't have assignments doing, I go and hit the baskets a bit, uh -huh. and now go and sleep. How do you manage your circles, your people, your network? Huh? <laughs> How do you differentiate the real ones from the fake ones? Huh? Because I know with this fame and industry, <laughs> you're bound to attract a lot of them. Huh? And 
let's say there are fake people out there here. There are people who will be your friends just for a specific purpose. Yeah. But I keep it cool with everyone. I don't keep malices. I'm a really nice person. I interact with everyone. Actually, I try to help. You know, there are people who will be like, I want to join the, in, uh, the acting industry. I'm, I'm not the type of person who will block them or keep distance from them just because they need help. I'll give them the advice that is needed. If there's any audition, I'll refer them to any. And I try not to make enemies okay. as fact that uh, the fact that I know there are people out here who will hate you. But for me, I'm cool with everyone. Uh, you got any siblings? Yes, I do. I have a sister and a brother. A sister and a and brother. And I'm sure she's even watching right now. Good. Good. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you on the show. <laughs> and um, let's talk about Martha, the daughter, and Martha, the sister. Who is she? Who is that person? My sister. Y no, you're th you as a sister, sister and you as a daughter. Okay. Um, let's just talk about my family. Yes. My family, they really support me, actually. She's the one who mentors me, both my mom and my sister. They are the ones who advise me. And I love them because they support my talent throughout. And even the, when I was going to Nigeria, they had my back throughout. Wow. Even right now, in, they're the ones who, let's just say they both are my managers. Mm -hmm. yeah, what my inspires mom. you in life? What inspires me? The fact that I'm talented and I know that I have a future out here. I know that I'm going places. That's what inspires me. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about, uh, you know, the, the glitz and glamour that comes with screen and being on screen. Does it ever bother you to be rewarded with awards and stuff like that? Is that a standard and a measure that Martha wants to achieve at some point? Yes, I'd say I would want to get awards as an actress. Yes. But at the same time, I'd al I also want to inspire people. That's my main thing. Mm -hmm. I want to motivate people. That's the thing. I may win all these awards, but at the end of it all, how is how has it helped a girl out there who's yeah. in, who's watching me? How has it motivated or how has it uh, given that girl somewhere who really wants to be like me mm -hmm. and that passion or that drive to also pursue her career? And you're in this to doing mass, mass communication. communication. Why mass communication? Um, mass communication is what I wanted to do since from the university. I just wanted to be on the screen. I love entertainment. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'd like to host a show like this and maybe I'll join you as I've said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I love um, social life, interacting mm -hmm. and just the screens in front of the screens. Yeah. That's where I lie. In front of the screens. That's <laughs> where you lie. <laughs> and um, when you look at, uh, of course, you're in campus. Yes. And you're trying to do all these things. Yeah. If I may give you, let me let me talk about dancing. Yeah. What's your favorite move? If I was to give you Broadway, waltz, salsa, what would you pick of the three? Um, where the shoki lie is. <laughs> <laughs> that category. <laughs> <laughs> well, we go do like this. Yes. <laughs> That is what you would pick. Yes. And uh, when it comes to modeling, Martha, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that something you want to pursue beyond the immediate future? Let me say for modeling, I, um, as per now, I'm not doing runway. Mm -hmm. I want to be an, a brand ambassador mm -hmm. of a product or a cloth line. And I want to do more of print. Mm -hmm. I want to do adverts. Yes. And that's I've seen what people I literally run for endorsements. Yeah. Uh, are there, uh, you know, a product is out, I want to endorse, I want to endorse, not because of what the product serves or mm -hmm. the gap it fills, because you want the money. What will inspire your choice mm -hmm. of a product that you would like to endorse? What will inspire? Um, as long as, let me go back to motivating and motivation talent. Motivation and talent. Uh -huh. Yes. As for now, I wanted to uh, be the brand ambassador of Mr. Price Clothline. Because there, uh, I can work hand in hand with the kids. So we both can be able to market the clothes lines for Mr. Price. Because uh, two of them can be able to also wear the 
clothes uh -huh. and we can also be able to market Mr. Price as a brand. Is it a coincidence, Martha, or you generally love kids? I just love kids. <laughs> <laughs> You've noticed, right? I have noticed. <laughs> it, it, when I look at uh, how you execute uh, Jenny, yes. when I, uh, I hear you talk, you've yeah. mentioned street children mm -hmm. with, your, with your course mm -hmm. after winning uh, um, runners-up Miss Daystar. Yeah. Now you're mentioning working with yeah. children. Yes. Why? Wh wha what's mm -hmm. the passion behind that because it's so strong you can feel it yes. in the atmosphere because these kids are the next superstars mm -hmm. as in some of these kids have such big talent but people don't see them that's the thing because looking at these two kids the uh, Saski and Kisha yes these kids are so talented but you know no one has they are not being exposed out here so I'm like why can't I not bring up these talents because I too would have started when I was young, but I didn't have that person who can actually bring me up so that I can get into the screen. So I'm like, if I didn't get the chance to start when I was a kid, why can't I bring up somebody else's kids so that they can start up when they're small and become a big person like when they reach my age? Yeah. For instance, if I started, imagine if I started when I was a toddler, where would I be right now? Wow. Uh, yeah, so I'm like, I feel that passion where I should work with these kids so that they can be our stars of tomorrow. They should start now. If you bring up a kid right now and they get to that um, adult age, it will be in them mm -hmm. and they'll be so good, trust me. And, and, and for you to work well with kids, you need patience. You need patience, You yeah. need a lot of patience. I've seen that in you when you're dealing with uh, Sashi. Yeah, Saski and uh, Kisha. Sa exactly, and you especially. You need to take them so slowly, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know, kids need this kind of pampering. Even when, they, even when they were making mistakes, though, imagine it was, the vlog was, we shot it so fast, expected us to stay like the whole day just to shoot that one. But they shocked me. They got their lines so fast and they were so natural as I wanted it. Looking at my kids and I, chapter two, um, those kids are very 10, they're just 10, the other one is five and the other one is 11. And they are doing really good. Though we have patience with them on set, they may miss their lines, but the director has patience with them because we are building them mm -hmm. to be our next biggest stars a, 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 and i'm not surprised that <laughs> one of the roles you've enjoyed is jenny yes. I, I am i am not surprised because <laughs> jenny has I got cried when i was actually leaving those kids i'm yeah. like oh my gosh exactly <laughs> and, and you could tell the love and the patience you have for, for them. them their character is similar to the the the, the they're, they're grown men, but you need <laughs> them as kids. Aki and uh, Aki and, and Popo, Opo and Popo <laughs> when we were growing up back in the day. Yeah. So it's like Emanuela. Emanuela. Look at Emanuela. Exactly. From she, Uganda. She's she's being. Imagine Emanuela now at my age, like ten years from now. Where will she be? The girl oh. is is really big and going worldwide places. she's going places and now she's, she's being nurtured from that tender age mm -hmm. now i too i'm saying why not why don't i nurture these young kids to be bigger than even me in the in the near future and we can only wish you all the best thank we you we can only wish you all the best and so follow me on my instagram mm -hmm. i'm called la underscore martha 254 and like my facebook page martha 254 boss chick and watch my videos on YouTube, Martha254 Boss Chick. Exactly. And we still <laughs> got some time with her. I'm not letting her go yet. <laughs> I am not letting her go yet. I'm and in here. A bit, in a bit, I'll be sampling your feedback. When you're, when you're in Kenya, yes. of, of course you said your, your schedule is very tight. Yes. Since but I returned from Nigeria. Since you came back from Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. But what is that one thing that makes you... Kenyan, no matter where you are, be it Rwanda, be it Nigeria, be it wherever. What is that one thing that and makes you Kenyan? For me, I'm proud of my country, the Kiswahili. I love Kiswahili because even the parts, the director was just, um, I read the script, but I changed some words to Swahili. Mm -hmm. So me embracing my, my country and me making people know that I am Kenyan. I am proud to be Kenyan, and wherever I go, I make sure that I tell people I am Kenyan, and the love I have for Kenya. 
I'm representing Kenya out here. Mm -hmm. Representing yeah. Kenya out here. Do we have people who have, how do you deal with misconceptions and myths about this country mm. once you're out there? How do you deal with that? Yeah, because people think all Kenyans are runners. There you're supposed you go. to be in the runway, and like <laughs> running there. And you're an actress. Really? You're supposed to be running. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm like, uh, Kenya is diverse. We have a lot of talents. Apart from running, mm -hmm. I'm here who's, I'm an actress and I'm in your industry. So it's not all about the stereotyping, mm -hmm. but it's also about looking at it in a diverse way. Stereotyping, looking at, at it, it from uh, a, a diverse yes. way. And uh, is, that, is there any time you have an awkward moment, whether you're on set mm -hmm. or you're out there as as mm -hmm. Martha just mm -hmm. having your time to yourself. <laughs> My accent, you know, at first they were laughing at me. I was like, I, I was talking, they were like, what did you say again? They're like, repeat, like even we used to go to the market, people were like, repeat what you said, mm -hmm. talk again, mm -hmm. talk again. Mm -hmm. So like this accent like really captivates people and like, where are you from? So you get this attention at times, people laugh. Yeah, but it's you, so, and that's what's selling me, so I'm proud of it. Exactly, being proud of it. And you know, it's, it's interesting when you get to sample all these cultures. Yeah. And one of the things that stand out for me is mm -hmm. the food. Yes, mm -hmm. it's the food. If <laughs> I need to interact with an, any culture before I give you any grade, I've got to taste your food. Fufu. <laughs> for you, it's fufu in Nigeria. No, I love plantain, actually. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. Plantain was, I used to eat plantain, like, every day. And the, the uh, ugali, the ugali is fufu, gari, eba. The <laughs> it's called swallow. They call it swallow. <laughs> they hold they it, it and they are soup. But their uh, food is really rich uh -huh. and it's nutritious. Yes. I really I grew fat by there, I added weight. I went there when I was a bit slim and I left. People are like, You added weight, what were you eating? Ah, <laughs> it's called fufu effect. Fufu. Uh, when you do this <laughs> <laughs> then there's a way you're, supposed, way you're to supposed to handle it. And the way you make a hole, hole in between. It, then you put the soup and inside. And not with any finger. With a thumb with finger. With this thumb finger. And then How you do you know all this? <laughs> <laughs> Sampling culture. Sampling culture. But the, I loved the culture. I loved the experience. Mm -hmm. It was really good. It was really awesome. Yes. I, I don't regret a bit. Yes. I also I, find the Nigerian culture very fascinating. Yes. And apart from the pepe. The pepe was burning me the first week. Mm. I was like, oh my gosh. That pepe that you hear, the pepe, mm -hmm. it's the real one. Not, there's no pepe. I don't think there's any pepe in Kenya there's that can be compared to that pepe I ate. There is no <laughs> ER in the pepe. pepe. It's just raw as it gets. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get to Rwanda, what did you love most about the Rwandese culture? I love their, their cultures in their dressing, their dances, and just their... I love how they embrace their culture. Rwandese are so, let me say they are so, that, you see the way the Maasai's are, mm -hmm. but theirs is more of, there they don't have a, a diverse culture like Kikuyu, Luo, they're all one. Yes. I love their oneness, their togetherness. And their synergy the is awesome. Yes, yes, a lot. Their synergy is awesome. Their dance, I love their randies, the dance. Uh -huh. Yeah, it was I really nice. I think officially we're going to give you a distinction. <laughs> As a pan-African, <laughs> you've been to West Africa, loved their food. You've been to East Africa, <laughs> loved the Kenyan language and the Rwandese dressing See. and synergy of interaction and all. Yeah. Kudos, Martha. Thank you. Kudos, kudos, Thank Martha. You so You're much. clearing next year? Yes, I'm clearing next year. I'll invite you for the graduation. I'll be there. <laughs> I will be there. And I cannot, we can only wish you all the best. Thank you we so much. We can only much. wish you all the best. What's your parting shot to Kenyans watching you this morning? I believe okay. this is her camera or oh, this one right here. Okay, so to everyone that's watching me, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Martha254. You can follow me on Instagram, la underscore Martha254. Facebook, Martha254 Boss Chick. And watch my videos, Martha254 Boss Chick. Mm -hmm. To everyone who's watching me and is inspired into acting, modeling, dancing, or vlogging, keep being motivated and hard work. Hard work is the key and stay focused and don't give up, mm -hmm. don't give up at all. That one I, I repeat, don't give up. If I gave up, I wouldn't be seated right here or I wouldn't have gone to Nollywood. That's true, keep going. Yes. Keep doing keep what going. you're doing, all right? Yes.
adding a little energy, a little oomph. You love, know, it, love, love it. Love it. Own <laughs> it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Commit to it. Yes. Eh? For better, for worse. In all circumstances. Don't give up. Don't give up. But there's someone who'd really like to know what it takes to be an actor. What it takes to be an actor, passion. Mm -hmm. Have a passion in it. Love acting. If you don't act, you'll have you'll fumble in between. Because um, putting yourself in that particular in that role that you have been given to play, if you don't have a passion for it, you'll you won't bring out that character. Thinking of, if you watch, just watch my first movie, Fighting Temptation, book one. And if you see how I brought out that character, I really uh, embrace that character. That's because of the passion I have for acting. So you have to learn how to put yourself in the particular role that you've been given. That's the key to acting. That's the key to acting. Thank you. Thank for coming, you so Martha. much. I have had fun. <laughs> I have had fun and, too. And I've known much about <laughs> you. I've got... I've gotten out to know who Lucy is, who Jenny. who Jenny is, who Martha is, and God willing, now I'll get to interact with Talia. I'll seek her out. <laughs> Literally, you I should. will. I should Today and I will. Today you should go watch it. I will go watch it. It's on YouTube, right? Yeah, it's still on YouTube. It's on, it's on YouTube, so I'll make time yes. and definitely All the movies watch that. are on YouTube. Absolutely. Yes. Isn't she a lovely woman? And she's <laughs> going places. And this is just the beginning for her. Thank you so much for watching the show this morning. It's the only way to start your day, and we sample the arts every Thursday. Every genre of the arts will be appreciated right here on GMK because mm. it's the only way to start your day, right? Mm. And again, we're the public broadcaster, but do we say we owe it to you to make your morning worth your while. We are taking a breather. The show mm. still continues. Safin is coming up next with K Moore. Yes, we remember him. He was here, I think, two, three months ago with Stiga. He returns now alone with a wonderful project that he recently rolled out, and it's going places. Check him out with Sofina Cheng after this.